Richmond, Allegheny, Moncavich Playground. By the way, if you have a car that does that, do me a favor. Throw yourself down the flight of stairs, please. Head first. This is Moncavich Playground. And even though the uh, gate is open, this playground, I'm going to do a little spin, this playground is actually closed. Um, oh, you could get roam free, Rick the Puppy. No one else is here but me and you. Uh, this playground closed two, three years ago. Uh, there used to be a tennis court over here. Uh, used to be a pool. Now there's a big pile of dirt. Over here, there's a playground. I think there's a homeless guy living in the monkey bars over there. Or not the monkey bar. Oh, whatever it is. Come here, Rick the Puppy. You gotta be careful, too. You don't want them... You know what, Rick the Puppy? I need you to stay with me. And, uh... I would say there is, um, there's a little bit of stuff going on underneath that bridge and on the other side of the playground, there's like a large, uh, community of, of homeless people. Uh, living off the banks, right on the, not the banks, the shoulder of 95. You can see their tents. This one here, that's a pretty... They're not using the playground, so... That's what they're doing. I also think there might be people living inside the rec center, the back door. Looks like it's kicked open. Uh, oh, look, here we go. Uh, Reverend Moncavage was the church with the pointy, the two pointy steeples. That's St. Adalbert's. And Reverend Moncavage was the first pastor of that church. I love this, like, molding on the roof. If they ever do knock down this building, which I, I guess it's what's going to happen, I would love, I would love to get a piece of that. Right, that's pretty cool. Uh, I played a lot of baseball in this field as a kid. I wasn't very good as a baseball player. I was uh, I was never an all-star as a baseball player. I all I also was uh, when I was growing up. I played a lot of soccer, and I was always an all-star player every time I played soccer. A lot of the kids who I played soccer with growing up, they wound up playing for the Philadelphia Kicks. There was this one kid, Pat Morris. I was always on the uh, all-star team with him. I always knew he was going to be a good soccer player. And uh, so Pat Morris, I think he wound up playing for the Kicks or coaching the Kicks or maybe both. So I played soccer with him on... An all-star, and I might have played baseball against him. He was a Fishtown kid, I think. And there was, I think there was a few kids from that Fishtown team that, uh... Oh, I smell fire, Rick the Puppy. Um, there was a few teams, uh, a few kids that played on that Fishtown soccer team that wound up playing for the Philadelphia Kicks. Indoor soccer, a professional indoor soccer. Right here. Welcome to Port Richmond. That's where we are at. And this is the old Richmond Field, which is on the other side. Uh, this used to be apparently this playground before 95 was here. <coughs> this was one giant playground. Hmm. And uh there were a lot of softball tournaments in this area. For a long time, this section of Allegheny Ave was all dug up. And uh, all of this pavement's new. And all of this pavement's new.
actually pretty nice. Allegheny Avenue, for, I don't know what reason it is, but Allegheny Avenue has one of the widest pavements in the whole city. And it's not just this way here, it's that way all the way down to Kensington and Allegheny. All the way to Allegheny and Broad, it's pretty wide too. And there was like a big encampment here not that too not that long ago I think everybody moved down to this other section of 95 you can see they there was a fire in the trees here oh wow yeah that's the scary part. You have people doing all these fires. And it's right next to I-95. You'll have people camping in tents. Not just here, but all over. Uh, even down in Fishtown. They'll be camping in tents. And you'll see they'll have like burn marks into the wall. That might be one. Yeah, that is one. Yeah, you see stuff like that. Yeah, this is a this is a major, major highway across the United States. You go, you take this highway from Florida all the way to Maine or Vermont. Which one's the highest? Maine, right? Uh, hashtag piss. Hold on, Rick the puppy. I know we got the green light, but these jerk offs don't care. Yeah, how you doing? Hello, friend. I heard that this is supposed to come back as a park after the I-95 project happens. They're supposed to expand I-95 a little bit in this section. So it's supposed to reopen again as a park, but I, I heard, I read an article somewhere. Maybe it was the Port Richmond Star. Might have been the Port Richmond Guide. I don't know. Uh, I saw something that maybe there could be a section where they could put apartments. Uh-oh. I can see that. You know why I could see that? Because there's no apartments here now. And you know what they say. There's not enough apartments in this city. This is uh, Sunoco Gas Station. Uh, I worked here... When did I work here? I worked here 1994. I worked at the A-plus Mini Mart. Um, I worked here twice. Quit. Came back. Quit again. They wanted me to work on New Year's Eve. How dare they? Don't they know I'm 18 years old and I want to party? It's the 60 bus. Uh, we call these accordion buses. And by we, I mean me and Rick the puppy. I don't know if anybody else does. Look at this. That bus was on two different streets at the same time, Rick the puppy.